Welcome, Chief Krebs, to Community Update. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We are here to talk about the police department's new strategic plan. Uh, how did it come about? Has, has Portland Police always had a strategic plan? No, and as far as I know, this is the very first strategic plan. Uh, this was something that, uh, through my studies, um, I had completed a graduate degree last year, and, and certainly understanding the importance of a strategic plan, a road map, a direction, so to speak, of where an organization needs to go. Certainly, most private uh, industries or private sector businesses have a strategic plan, and s as well as public sector. And um, the former department I came from had a strategic plan, but we didn't have one in Portland, and I thought it would be beneficial so that we know where we're going so that we can plan out the next five years. Yeah, I see it is a five-year plan. Oh, yes. And, and you have four major goals in this. And one yes. of them is to reduce crime. That seems to be what most people would be interested in from yes. the police department. How do you plan it by five by five percent? What's the, some of the ways that you're planning to do that? Well, we set a goal last year. Much of what's in our strategic plan actually started last year or right after I got here. Uh, we started and implemented a ComStat process an acronym for computer statistics and what we do every week is analyze and evaluate crime trends and patterns now certainly uh, we ended the year last year we set a goal of five percent ended the year with three percent uh, certainly we set the same uh, goal this year for five percent and so far we're doing pretty good I mean first quarter of the year and we're sitting at about a seventeen percent reduction but what we do is we look at and analyze crime on a weekly basis uh, and it's working. But more importantly, I mean, it's one thing for me to sit here and tell you the importance of statistically showing a reduction. But the question I always ask is, the community feel safer? And so it, it's really more than just a statistical analysis of crime. It's, it's how the community feels about what you're doing. Absolutely. That's yeah. more important, actually, than me sitting here and saying, well, we're realizing a 17% reduction. But yet, if we talk to Mrs. Smith, uh, on High Street, and she says, well, I don't feel safer, then we haven't fully realized our goal. Well, and of course, how people, how safe people feel is really, you know, attributable to the police department in the area, and you mentioned another goal is in, uh, fostering a, a culture of excellence, so yes. what does that mean? Well, you know, one thing as a public servant, you know, service excellence is, is, is important to me, it's important to the men and women who work in the organization. You know, I had a chance to visit uh, you know, nice hotels and uh, for business, and, uh, and I oftentimes ask the question, how is it that service excellence is, is the hallmark of some places, some hotels? And so I wanted the police department to become known for its excellent service. And so we do that in a number of ways. Certainly our partnership with the community, uh, being transparent, having open communications, a really meaningful relationship with our community, the community that we serve. And to me, that defines service excellence. And when you talk about relationships, I think that kind of leads into your third goal because you have a specific goal for the youth. You want to talk oh, about Oh, absolutely. That a bit? Uh, it's certainly uh, no surprise that, you know, uh, after arriving here, uh, we focused on building relations with our youth community. We started a police athletic league, now a police activities league. Uh, we've uh, established relationships in our local high schools. A Long Creek uh, juvenile detention facility. Uh, we've actually participated in a play uh, with area youth, and so, and then we have a police explorer unit. Uh, all those things go to the business of uh, embracing and working closely with our youth. Let's face it, the youth, they're our future leaders in this community, uh, and certainly when you talk about a community that's got issues or problems, sometimes we have to look to our youth community. And so we've worked very hard in really building those relationships. And that's why it's important as a goal. Um, and then, of course, the, the fourth goal is about communication, not just within the department, but with the rest of the public. What yes. are some of those things that you're working on there? Well, again, you know, we started a social networking page uh, through Facebook. Uh, certainly, uh, that's uh, one in, I think, 10 Americans or one in 10 people around the world uh, have a Facebook page. And we thought this would be another opportunity to build relations with our community. So we decided, let's start a Facebook page, and we've gotten tremendous feedback. Uh, that's just one example. We started our Texatip program last year uh, so that community members who wanted to report incidents of crime, but do it in an anonymous way. 
Uh, so there are a lot of things we're working on in terms of improving communications, how we interact with the community during meetings, on calls for service. Um, by way of example, I've, uh, we've had several community forums uh, this past year. Uh, certainly, uh, we've had three uh, community forums with our gay and lesbian community. We've had youth forums. Uh, we've had a forum with our business community. Those are all designed in increasing our service delivery, but also improving our communications. It sounds like all those four goals are sort of tied in together. All and tied very in together. important to do one and not the other. Ab absolutely. So um, if people want more information about this or actually look at the strategic plan, what can they do? Where can they, they can go, go to our website, uh, certainly www.police.portlandmaine.gov. Or they can go to the Portland Press Herald website and, and uh, seek out strategic plan, and they can click on a, a link. It will take you right to our strategic plan. Wow. Well, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. So forward thinking and doing a strategic plan. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. Back to you, Beth.